What's on everybody? Welcome back. We are going racing today. Yep, yeah, it's been a little while, but I thought I'd uh, dust off the Lycra, dig out the XC bikes, and we are going cross-country racing. I haven't raced XC for about two years, so I thought, hey, why not do it? And why not bring you guys and girls along for the ride as well? So yeah, I'm off to round one of the Brass Monkeys Winter Cross-Country Series in Surrey in the UK, and it is blue and winter out. It's frosty, it's cold, there's a bit of wind, and it says it's about zero degrees. But hey-ho, the show must go on, I'm looking forward to it. Boris is all packed up back there. We got kit, shoes, so many layers of clothing you can't even uh, count it all. And I'm actually genuinely pretty excited. And there is a bit of an ulterior motive as well to this actually. So come the mid end of January, I have got possibly the hardest and biggest challenge coming up yet on GMBN. And I wanted to know how fit I was. And well, nothing tests your fitness more than actual race day. Training, that's tough. Going out for rides, that's tough, but race day is when you'll really know. So I've donned, donned all the gear, the Harry monitor, the power meters, they're all on there. We can get some numbers and then go from there. But yes, let's go racing. Sign on. Good morning. Uh, just come to sign Rich Payne. It's well cold. It is brass monkeys. Thank you very much. Oh, they're like little metal bits. Thank you very much. Straight through 118. What is the two for? The two stands for the two hour race I'm doing. So it's two, two and four hours or two, three and four hour races. I'm doing the two. 118 because it's straight through, isn't it? Brass monkeys because it's cold as hell. <laughs> it is croc leather. Are they in race mode yet? <laughs> no, I haven't put this. Hang on. We're in off-road mode now. There they are, the whips. I think we'll go full sus. Why is that? Because it's more comfortable on my back. And I'm old now. And it's faster. Well, it's not faster, but I haven't seen the course and I don't know if it's bumpy or not. And the full sauce is so blooming good these days. So let's get the number on. I don't know how. Have you ever done a Brass Monkeys event before? I've never done a Brass Monkeys event, no. I'm quite excited. There's a lot of people here. Yeah, a lot of people. Some serious sandies. I forgot how serious XC people can be sometimes. Can I see your serious face? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Hang on. Damn it! I don't have this a serious is why you face. This is why you don't do XC. Yeah. I think I look more like a fish. What kind of racer turns up with that zip tie? But... I could do a full, I could do a full brake bleed, but I can't put a zip tie on the bike. I borrow some zip ties. <laughs> <laughs> we managed to muster up a zip tie between us. Reusable? Oh wow, you're very prepared. Can I have a green one? A green one, you Yep, perfect. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's good we bought a mobile mechanic with us. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow, thank you. The XC community are brilliant. Far more prepared. Yeah, it's a um, strange blip. <laughs> not really yeah. prepared. Why do I put like that, Nick? He's not going to look very good. Though, is yeah, it? It's a little monkey on it. No, but hang on, that doesn't. Why put that there? So what have you learned about your first XC race in how long? <laughs> Bring more zip ties. <laughs> yeah, are we good? I think we're uh, yeah. tip top. Thank you very much. Let's snip these bad boys off. It's cold. Okay, come on, we can do this. Which shoes? Red or blue? Blue. Good choice. Oh, red's coming too. The new, new ones. They are quite snazzy. From an otherwise stealthy kit. Some blue shoes in there. Filed. Should lock up Boris. Beep, beep. Hi tech. Let's go put a lap in. Practice time. Yeesh. Let's 
start. Okay, it's practice. Practice time. So like I said, it is about, about a five, six mile loop, I think. So I read. I'm not gonna bother doing a whole loop because it's actually miles, isn't it? So we'll do a bit of a loop, have a little warm up. Uh, maybe do some stretching or something. Try and look like we know what we're doing. And I'll uh, see you in a bit. Kabam! They do say there's such a thing as too much life, but I'm not sure there is today. Pretty well fit. Uh, right, see you in a bit. Let's go practice. Sprint here, you can come race time. Bit of effort, I can confirm. It is had 32 kilometers. Look that sign, John. It's quite sandy. Oh, it goes this way, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, Halibritch. Anyone on the ass? Parky. Uh, track looks pretty good. So, um, just done a bit of a loop, not the whole thing, about halfway. And I like it. It's pretty techers, pretty twisty. It's way drier than I was expecting. Uh, but I think that's just because it's slightly frozen at the moment. But it's all good, yeah. Looking forward to racing. Going to head back to the van. Um, just tune up. My gears are a bit clunky and my tyres are rock hard from where I just whizzed them on up with a compressor. But. We'll go back, get warmed up, get ready for racing. Ooh, ooh. How was practice, Rich? It was good. It was good. It was a uh, quite a cool track. Practice was good, yeah. Cool track. Cold, but um, fun. It's like lots and lots of single track. Should you feel the need to overtake, I think that'll be quite tricky, but race tactic is ride my own race. I always used to get caught up in blooming, keeping with the leaders or chasing the leaders and stuff like that, and then I would, I would die. Doing a lot of these epics over the days with GMBN so far, and just a lesson I learned a bit later on is that it's a ride your own race. If I'm feeling pooped, don't try and keep up with the super fast guys, unless I am one, hopefully. We'll find out. But we're just going to adjust uh, tyre pressures because they are rock hard. Oh, no, they're actually not that rock hard. <laughs> Front end was pushing a bit. Drop her down a touch. Kind of ready to go, really. Right, John, thank you very much for joining me. Race director of the Brass Monkey Series. Uh, tell us a little bit, how long has the race series been going on then? Ah, uh, this is its 12th or even 13th year. Love um, it, eh? It seems like only yesterday we started yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, because there wasn't much racing going on in the winter. So... Uh, you filled that gap. We, we filled that gap, yeah. The weather looks to be on our side, if not a bit chilly, so it should be in for a good day. It should be wonderful. It was not great yesterday with the wind. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, that was horrible. That's we have to deal with. Now. Excellent, well, thank you very much for having us, and I think it's about time we went racing. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> See you on the start Cheers. line. Psyched. So psyched. I'm quite looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous. It's chaos though. There is a lot of people going around. Look. I feel like I should warm up. But I'm not gonna. Because I feel alright. The only thing that needs to warm me up is my nose.
Hey buddy, how you doing? You doing well? Nine. That's the finish, that's the finish. That was that good? Oh my god. I forgot how hard XC was. Uh, I'll say something in a moment, hold on. Yeah, that was tough. Good fun. I had a good start. Uh, those, I forget how tough, like the, the uphills. Those boys murdered me on the uphills. So that was a, a lesson learned and eye opener. But it was cool. One hour fifty. Cut a tea? I think so. Yeah, cup of tea and a coffee. I right, blew the cobwebs out that one. Maybe added a few more in. Um, so, like I said, big challenge coming up. This has made me realise I'm going to have to get back training, otherwise I'm going to die. Big time. Although, Positives to take away because there's always positives. We try and look at them always. I got a good start, so initial power's there. Got murdered on the uphill, so lesson learned. I need to work on my hills. And once I got to like the hour in, I was basically able to maintain that one, like it averaged 170. I could sustain that. So that's good to know. I just need to work on hills for sure. I lost my bottle halfway around. No! Physically and mentally. <laughs> Only joking. No, I, I, I blew and pulled the bottle out, had a drink and was like, I got really close up to like dropping into the next section. I was faffing, I was like trying to like jam the bottle back in there, miss the bottle cage completely. It just went, Phew! I was like, oh, I can't like, I'm not stopping because it's a race, isn't it? So then I was like, well, that's, that's that gone. That's sacrificial bottle. And uh, lucky it was only with about half a lap to go. And do you know what the funniest thing was? Almost everyone I overtook, the lap was really good. And I was like, oh, rider, left, right, blah, 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 blah. Pass them. And they go, oh, you're not wearing gloves. I was like, no, I don't really get cold hands. Next rider, oh, thank you, thank you. Where are your gloves? <laughs> it was quite funny. You know, I crossed the line. Oh, I don't know how you did that without gloves. I don't know. Maybe why my hands are like that. <laughs> the missus does love them. <laughs> oh, that raspy feel. Let's have a little look at some vital statistics. So today's race was, here we go, 32.3K long, hour 48 riding, max heart rate 179, average heart rate, heart rate 169. So pretty high. Let's look at some power, normalized power, 263 watts. So again, not too shabby. Maxed out at what, 1300? I assume off the start. Yeah, cool. It's not too bad. Many, many calories burned, 1,614. Yeah, cool. All right, so I mean, that's, that's some good numbers to go off of there, really. I shall now go home, back to the drawing board. I'm gonna get a little uh, training plan on the go, dig out the turbo. And then we've got Mission January ahead of us. But do you want a bacon roll? Yeah. Yeah? I can learn. Oh, a nice brew. Stoked! Fifth place! The old boy still got something in the legs, so that's good. Uh, I thought I did worse than that, but I think because it was the overall, there were some uh, zippity juniors around and some zippity vets, but fifth place, I'll take that. It's been a good race. I think we're gonna sign off there because uh, we're cold. Gonna go get changed, back to Boris, back home, and we're out of it. But that is me done. Thank you very much, uh, Brass Monkey Series. It's been fun to race. We'll see you again. And thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my little XC race vlog. Keep your eyes peeled for some cool stuff coming up in the future. But I'm out of it. See you later, everyone.